Here's the maiden voyage of the thing. I'm only running one armature right now. And I have um, just 24 volts hooked up to it right now. And it's just ticking along. At 25 volts um, DC output, I am consuming 0.65 amps. So it's interesting. I, I really think that there's going to be potential here. I believe for sure that it's going to be running a hell of a lot more efficiently than the small ones. Um, in any event, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Here it is. Okay guys, here is test number two. Uh, the Cromery with one armature going is ticking over at 850 RPM. You can see the wheel spinning there, relatively nominal RPM. It's producing approximately 40 volts and we are consuming on one armature uh, 1.1 amp. So that gives you an indication of where we are now. And I'm going to be running some other tests and I have just a 2 microfarad capacitor on this. Um, so right there it appears to be running pretty efficiently. Okay guys, here at 1100 RPM with one armature going, one armature stationary, we have 102.2 volts, okay, and we are consuming just under 2 amps, so there you have it. Okay, at 1138 RPM, one armature going, we are now making lines voltage, okay, 124 volts and we're consuming 2 point, let's say 2.1 amp. Okay guys, I want to show you this tuning again. We only have one armature running on the Cromery. Um, 124 volts AC, I'm using right now uh, a 10 microfarad capacitor. And the sweet spot definitely is at a much lower RPM with this one, depending on the capacitor size. So we definitely don't have to support anywhere near um, what we did for the other original one. But watch this, okay, so here is 10 microfarad, and I'm spinning it up. I'm going to go to a maximum of about 1400 RPM. I'm getting definitively plenty of voltage out of one of them. That's about 300 volts, and I'm going to guess we're probably at around 1400, yeah, 1400 RPM. So 311 volts at 1400 RPM. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap out the cap to a 2 microfarad cap and you'll see what it does. It's not even close. So the 2 microfarad cap it only runs to 63 volts. And when I bring her back down to RPM, you'll see there's a sweet spot that occurs at a much lower RPM to slow this thing down. You'll see the RPM rise as I decrease the voltage, so, or decrease the RPM. So, right there, the sweet spot for a 2 microfarad capacitor is right around 120 volts in line voltage. Um, it's definitely blowing cold air, and I'm only running one. And again, the interesting fact, just again to show you, we only have one armature running, the other one is stationary, and what happens when I move, when I move the, um, the coil out of phase, we either gain RPM just by moving it slightly, and I'm, it's stationary, I'm not moving it. I just move its position. So 130 volts, okay, in this position. And now if I rotate it back to center, 109 volts. So I find that absolutely really cool. Much, much more testing needs to occur. But at least this is some of the initial figures. I haven't even begun to spin the second armature yet, so there's just too much tuning to do. Just thought you find this interesting. Again, guys, I want to show you this uh, neat little trick. Here we have the primary one armature spinning, um, the other armature stationary, producing right around 100 volts. Um, I'll just leave it there, I'm not going to touch anything. We have a 10 microfarad capacitor here. We're consuming roughly 1.5 amps, as it were, at 24 volts input, and producing uh, 90 volts or so thereabouts. Now watch this when I just rotate the phase slightly of the um, of the primary secondary coil. Watch the AC volts, what happens. If I move it just partially, we see an increase in voltage, and I am not spinning that second armature, obviously. If I move it a little bit more, it'll drop off, 
okay? So I put it back in phase, which is just centered. See 87 volts? Now I'm going to move it partially into phase. You see 129 volts, 130 volts. So the secondary um, winding, even though it is not spinning, uh, definitely adds to the voltage for sure, so the potential difference is there. So what we're seeing is probably just like an um, automatic type of bucking and collapses magnetic field because it's being pulsed unilaterally from this armature. And I, again, I have not done any testing with the second armature spinning yet. I just want to see what this thing is doing with one. So again, at 1.5 amps in, uh, 132 volts out, and again, that's basically tunable vis-a-vis -vis the capacitor size, vis-a-vis -vis where this uh, armature needs to be, so there's just a heck of a lot of testing that needs to be done. But just modestly pushing this machine um, to about 1400 RPM with one armature spinning, I've gotten over 310 volts, 320 volts, I've seen as high as 400 volts. Just a little bit faster than that, so I'm not, you know, not spinning it anywhere near like the 10,000 RPM I did on my original machine, but I'm definitely getting a lot more voltage out of it. So, just want to give you the initial update for um, phase one of the testing, and there's much, much more to follow. Have a great day.